Hi guys, CGCrafted here. So in this series I will show you how to create the uh, interior and uh, exterior arc with uh, scenes. In this episode I will show you how to create a procedural or parametric walls that uh, basically like using a plugin, but uh, you don't have to, you just need to use the built-in Blender tools. And I will show you how. Okay, so let's remove the default cube and everything else. And add the plane. We have this plane here. Go into edit mode and come over here. This is the viewport overlays uh, icon. And here's uh, edge length and face area. Turn this on and you will instantly see the height and the length of the walls. It's uh, a bit hard to see, but... Uh, if you turn around the camera, then you will see it better. Okay, so the standard uh, wall uh, height is 2.7 meters, at least here, so I will use this. By holding shift, you will be able to change the length slower. And uh, let's go out of edit mode. And here's uh, the modifiers tab, add the solidify modifier, and uh, uh, give the wall a thickness of maybe 25 centimeters. Although I'm not an architect, but as far as I know, this is a standard thickness usually, especially in older uh, buildings. So I will go with this, as this is an exterior wall. As you can see, this is already a procedural wall, as you can basically just drag it around very easily, see all the details and how long it is, and it's uh, easy to shape it, however you like it. So I will start to grab this uh, edge and uh, pull this out about here, about 8 meters. Uh, also, if you are pressing uh, Ctrl, then you will be able to snap this to the increments of the grid. In other words, round numbers. So for example, 1, 2, 3 meters and stuff like that. Okay, so here we can see there's a problem. We have a very weird thickness glitch going on, and it's because we have to turn on the even thickness uh, property here on the solidify modifier, and this should fix it. To close this wall, I will press F, and it's uh, finished. I uh, will add the balcony around here, and for that, I will need two edge loops, and I need to push this. Uh, back a little bit, there will be the door on this uh, short side, so that's it, and I will try to resize it. Okay. This left part should be the living room, and the right one will be the bedroom. And maybe a wardrobe as well. Now that we are finished, we can also easily add the ceiling and the floor. And it's super easy, just uh, alt-click the edges, press F, press P, and uh, this will separate this nice uh, little mesh. And we can uh, Shift D to copy this. And when it's done, we can also change the thickness of the ceiling and the floor. Very useful and very easy. This is also parametric. You can later come back and change the thickness again. So, like I said, it's uh, very good for arc with scenes. If you want to stamp the ceiling to the top of the wall, then come over here to this icon and uh, change this to edge, which will make it possible to simply hold control start to drag it around here and it will work and it will be snapped perfectly also let me uh, hide the ceiling with age for the interior walls we will use uh, elastic walls but for that we need to separate a uh, mesh from this exterior wall which i have just done now and uh, as you can see by uh, quickly changing the thickness we can already uh, create nice interior walls. I separated it using P, just like before. And I'm back in edit mode and uh, and use Shift D to create new walls. And this is gonna be the bathroom. And you can see there's a little glitch uh, since it's uh, not an exterior scene, it should uh, 
be okay, but if you want to fix it, you can just uh, drag it back. I'm also using control. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Maybe not that perfect, I will push this back. We don't need that uh, big bathroom. Otherwise, this looks okay. So this is basically the workflow. I will add the, this new small room here. This is also just the shift D inside edit mode, so something uh, fancy. And here we go, basically. I will uh, use Alt H to bring the ceiling back. And we can walk around and it will look uh, okay. In the next episode we will see how to create uh, windows and doors for this. I will create simple ones and I will show you how to use booleans. I'm not even sure if I pronounce it correctly. I am booleans, boo 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 yeah, whatever. So I will show you how to use them and also how to use edge loops since it's very easy to move a window and a door holes on the wall with this method. Also, don't mind me in the background, I'm just extruding this edge to create this balcony floor. If you like this video, that's good. If you turn on notifications by clicking on the bell, that's good. If you donate me on Blender Market, CG Trader, or anywhere else I'm currently available, that's also good. If you say bye, that's super good because bye.